Españoles oftentimes refer to themselves as gente de razón, which in English translates into people of reason. Bilingual, bicultural, I love it. Right? People of reasons. And so they thought of themselves as those who had the ability to think, those who had abilities to make decisions, while at the same time describing through their prejudices and through their stereotyping of indigenous peoples as backwards, as inferior. They called them gente sin razón, as a way to justify enslaving the indigenous communities. So we see it culturally, we see it economically, we see it politically, and we also see it um, in the other way. So between let's see, 1785 and 1789, so this is about a, a four-year period, there were 9.7 million marks of silver that were deposited in 11 of these provincial banks. Now, marks is a, it's a unit of uh, weight. Right, so there's a bit of a kind of a, you have to convert that essentially. So 9.7 million marks of silver translates to about 6.4 million pounds troy of silver, which equates to about uh, 5.2 million pounds of silver. So, which is approximately 83 million ounces of silver. Now I check the prices of silver today, that's about $20 an ounce. So what we're really talking about is about a value of $1.6 billion that was extracted uh, in just four years. That's I, I felt like it, the work of creating this play was a decolonizing experience you know, for us. You know, that we, we're looking at what is it that we kind of truths that we have accepted and you know stories and narratives that we have just kind of you know we, we don't go back and take a look at them like uh, that of the of the Mexican Revolution so you know that that work of being a responsible artist is about bringing truth and history and you know even today I mean the fact that we are not on television we're not in the movies and you know, by by saying we're you know we're gonna be on a big stage with a big, beautiful play, well done, you know, so that our community is proud. That is an act of resistance. Uh, many of you are students. Students, right? Tuition, is it gone up or down? Uh, up. And it seems like it just keeps going up and up and up and up, right? Many of us are getting left behind, especially the poor, the working class, and not coincidentally, those of us who are from black and brown communities, right? So do we still see these inequalities? Very much they're still alive and relevant. And in my thinking, colonialism is very much still with us today, right? The idea was to continue to take and take and take. Well, they're still taking and taking from our communities in different ways. Right now, think about what's happening. If you're paying attention to the news, what's happening in Dakota, right? The Dakota Access Pipelines, over 100 indigenous nations from all over the continent, especially here in the US, have gathered to protest, to defend, to protect access to clean water. Think about it's not just an entertainment choice, but it's also tuning in to your culture and your spirit. And when you're, you know, doing this hard work, you know, being a student is hard. You know, it's something, you know, hold on to that wisdom of our culture that we have to feed our spirit in order to keep on, keep it on. And that's one of the things that teatro does. And it, teatro is for everybody.